In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a signature like this. So go ahead and open up a new image. My image is going to be 470 by 170. And paint the background black using your bucket fill tool. Then go to Filters, Noise, HSV Noise, and put in these settings for Holdness 8, Hue and Saturation 0, and Value 255. Then go to Filters, Blur, Motion Blur, and put the blur type on Linear, and for Length, I'm just going to put in 15, and for Angle, 90. Then grab your Text Tool. Uh, the font I'll be using is Rockwell Bold. Then just go ahead and type in your text. And I'm going to um, use my Line Tool to center the text, so just click on the text layer and select Align Center of Target and Align Middle of Target. Now let's just give our text um, a black outline. So right click on the text layer and select Alpha to Selection. Then create a new layer and go to Select, Grow, and let's grow the selection by 3. Then grab your Bucket Fill tool, set your foreground color on black, and just paint that in black. Then select None. Then just drag this layer beneath the text layer. And you can go ahead and merge that down. Now go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. These are my settings. For Offset X, it's 0. Offset Y is 0. Blur Radius is 25. I'm going to turn that up to 30. My color is red. You can change that. And the opacity is 100. And I unchecked Allow Resizing. Now after you do that, you can lower the opacity of your text layer just a little. Then make a new layer. And get your paintbrush tool and just leave it on black as your foreground color. Now this is optional, but I'm just going to grab some splatter brushes and kind of brush that on my text. And set the um, layer with the splatter brushes onto Overlay. Now go to Image, Merge Visible Layers, and just go to Select All. <clears throat> then get your Rectangular Select Tool. Just press on that and select Rounded Corners. And for my radius, I put in 30. Then go get your, um, wait, okay, then grab your eraser tool and go to select invert and using your eraser tool just erase those um, corners. Then you can go to select none. Now when you save this image you're going to need to save it as a .png file to um, keep the transparency. So, and then you can go ahead and save it. So that's how you make this kind of cool looking signature.